Hi, I'm Valentino Rossi and if you like our content, like and subscribe for more. I see her rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Welcome back to my channel Zmoto GP. Here I will tell you about MotoGP and other races, which are actually trusted and up to date. If you want to receive information back from us, please subscribe, like, share and ring the bell. Thanks a lot. Grazzini Racing's Enea Bastanini is ready to pose another threat to the title challenger trio at the 2022 Japanese MotoGP. Inia Bastanini insists that he will appear determined to win the 2022 Japanese MotoGP. Inia Bastianini is determined to maintain his impressive form. In the last two races Bastianini appeared strong with runner-up results in the San Marino MotoGP and a victory in the Aragon MotoGP. This positive score has brought Bastianini to become an unexpected contestant in the title race which is entering a crucial phase. Bastianini, the top satellite team driver, is now only 48 points adrift of Fabio Quartararo as the leader of the stand. Bastianini's manager, Carlo Pernat, said that his driver still had the chance to win the title. Although the chances are slim, Pernat believes that stealing the title is not impossible for the racer nicknamed Bestia. Pernat took the example of Francesco Bagnaia, Ducati Lenovo, who was able to reap 120 points in five races. As is known, MotoGP 2022 also has five series remaining. I think there is a small chance, even mathematically I haven't lost the chance to win the title, Bastianini said as quoted by Bolasport.com from GP1. It all depends on how I face the next race. Ideally I would like to maintain the level of performance that I achieved in the second half of the season, he added. Bastianini's motivation increased after Ducati officials would not give him special orders for the Japanese MotoGP. Ducati is speculated to be asking Bastianini to help Francesco Bagnaia in the title race. For now there are no orders and that's good for me, Bastianini said. In any case, even if I have only a small chance of winning the title, there is still a possibility. This freedom gives me the strength to be able to fight 100% to the best of my ability, said the one-time world champion. Not that Bastianini's race will be smooth. This weekend's Japanese MotoGP will be Bastianini's first appearance at Mobility Resort Motegi on a MotoGP bike. At Bastianini's debut in the Class of Kings last year, the Japanese MotoGP was cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the win in Aragon gave Bastianini an injection of confidence to fight again. Moreover, Ducati has been quite successful with Motegi by scoring five wins since their debut in the Class of Kings in 2003. Last weekend in Aragon was one of the best races of my career, said Bastianini. Apart from the result itself, throughout the weekend I have been running the circuit in a very good rhythm. Motegi is a beautiful circuit, with lots of sudden braking which I really like for my riding style. However, this is my first race here with MotoGP so I have to make good use of FP1, first free practice, to learn quickly from the more experienced riders at this circuit, concluded Bastianini.